Hi everybody. Today we talk about the chapter one, the genetics and heredities. Okay, the genetics mean the topic about relating to the our uh, uh, our basic characters or the gene information inside our body, and the heredities mean how we study the transfer of the genetic characters from one generation to the other generations. Okay. And the introductions. The first question I would like to ask you for the introduction it is, uh, why do we look different from each others? By this concept here, you may mention to the parents. The parents mean your father and your mothers. Okay. The fathers here yeah, may you mention about the characters of the, uh, the characters of the fathers. Okay, provide and the mother provide the characters, her characters, and they combine together into to you. Okay, or even the cells, basic of the cells characters that we go deeper, or somewhere you may not know it is the uh, chromosomes, it is the structure inside the nucleus of the cells. Okay, or you may mention about the food you eat. Okay, uh, you may mention about milk. Okay, for example. The milk like this and the person who eat more milk to make have a taller bodies tall and bigger bodies but if you eat some kind like a uh, the fat and carbohydrate like this you may feel your body get changed into the fatter body bigger body like this or even that air temperatures the one that live in the high air temperatures here you may think High temperatures. You may think that the body may be thinner. I don't know. Okay, or maybe in the lower temperatures. You may think that the body become bigger. Okay, or the living area, the one that live in the, the, uh, this is the earth. And this one we call temperate zone. A bigger body, but the one that live in the uh like a tropical, maybe thinner body. I don't know. This one is just guessing. Okay, like this. So we can classify the two concepts like this into two area. This one here is concept by genes by genetics, genetic concepts, and the food and temperatures and the living area here will be the environment. environment okay and here so the conclusion here we may mention that the character you see all the appearance here depend on two concepts the first concept it is the genetic materials and the second concept here we need to adapt to the environment so this one we call the concept that the appearance depend on the genetics and the environment we call G by E concept okay so all character you see uh, from the group of the population here depend on two concepts. The first concept it is the genetics and the second concept it is the environment. But in our talk here in these chapters, we may mention the genetic part, this part. Okay. Okay, but before we learn about genetics, we will have the other uh, word. It is a variation, or in Thai we call it การแปรผันหรือเป็นการแปรผันทางพันธุกรรม This is a word in Thai. Okay, the variation here depend on the individuals of the same species. For examples, if we may mention uh, the dog. Okay, the dog may be smaller dog, big bigger dog. Okay, big body. Okay. But sometimes you can see the smaller dog. For example, Chihuahua like this. And the bigger one will be Golden Retriever like that. Bigger bodies. Okay. Or the smaller body like this. Big dog, small but small dog. Like this. We call variation. They are chain, even they are the same species. 
Okay, and the other one we we use the term trait. Trait is the features or the characters that transmit from parents to the offspring. The word offspring here, the uh, the the groceries. Yeah, the word offspring. We use the term loo lan, and the word trait. It is a genetic characters. The characters, okay, and in this field for the human here, maybe height, maybe weight, maybe the eyelid for the dog here, maybe like a, uh, the size of the body, hair color like this, will be the trait of the dog, and we can group the characters or this trait into two group. The first group here we call the continuous trait, and the discontinuous trait or the discontinuous variation. Okay. Okay. For the, this concept, the variation classified into two type. The first type is continuous, and the second one it is discontinuous variation. Variation. So the word in Thai we use the term การแปรผันต่อเนื่องการแปรผันแบบไม่ต่อเนื่อง like this. Okay. The first type, the continuous variation. Okay, the continuous variation here, the character will be slight and graded, means the character here will be changed step by step. For example, if we mention about human height, if you you are in a classroom and you measure the height of the of the student in your classroom, you may get one hundred and um fifty, okay, and to one hundred and uh fifty four, one hundred and Fifty five to one hundred and fifty nine, and here the range maybe three three range, and sixty to one hundred and sixty four like this, or in many many other step, and you count the numbers. The numbers of the students. This is range. Okay, you get five student here, and you get maybe ten student here, and this group another five student, and you turn this information. Okay, into the graph. Okay, you may fit the graph like this. Okay, the first one here is one hundred fifty, two hundred and fifty four, one five five two one five nine, one six o two, one six four like this, and you will see that the data has changed the step by step. Okay, because light and graded. Like this, okay. And this, uh, this type of the variation here depend on the large number of genes, many set of the genes. For example, here we may mention group of the A gene. We have A A B B C C gene like this. But we will not in in our talk we will not mention about this type of the variation continuous this this type of the variation because uh the poly gene here this type of variation here belong to the higher level of learning it will be in in M six okay talking about this topic okay but we will mention mostly in the part of this continuous but what is this continuous okay for example uh this one is a range. Okay, and you draw the graph here. You can use this area to draw pe the period the previous graph, the range, and this is a number. Okay, write down and here this is a graph you get. Okay, this area. This character here occur the example here, like, uh, the height. Okay, or the IQ, like this. Even the uh, skin colors, like this. Okay, this is examples, and 
This is an example of the continuous variation by measuring the height of the the peephole. Okay, ranging from one hundred and uh twenty nine to the over than one hundred and seventy seventy five. Okay, you will see that the data here be like a curve, and they are continuous to each other here. Uh, one three four connect to the one three five like this. So we can call this height as a continuous variation. Okay, and the data here become like a bell shape, like a bell shape. Okay, we call no later when when you learn in the mathematics about the uh <coughs> sorry the uh statistic. We will call this one as a normal distribution. Is one of the characters of the continuous variation. Next type it is a discontinuous variation. The discontinuous variation here will be discrete. The data here become discrete or means separate, and they are clear out to each other. The data of each bar here do not merge. Merge means mix together. They are not mixed together. So this data here will be controlled by different allele. The word allele here mean different, different type of genes. You may confuse about this, but we will talk about the allele, the alleles later. But please mention that the discontinuous variation here, they can control by the different form of alleles. Okay, they may have one type, two type, or many few type of number. And the continuous variation here later we will mention as a quantitative. Uh, the word in high here we use the term quantitative mean nature. Pariman. Okay, but if it is a discontinuous variation, it will be the qualitative or chung kunna pa. Okay. Okay. What is the examples? I will show you later. For examples, if we mention about, uh, the ear. This is no yellow type, and this one is a yellow type. Okay, and you count the numbers of the student in your classroom. You will have just only two category, uh, like this. No yellow, and with yellow. Like this, the numbers of the student take maybe this one is uh five student. This one is about uh twenty five student, and you draw the graph. You will get a graph like this, okay. And after that, the first bar here represent five the numbers with the no yellow. And this one here is a big yellow. Okay. You will see that the data here is not connect together. The one that have yellow means the one that it is not, uh, the one that they don't have the yellow. But the one that don't have the yellow cannot have the yellow. Okay, so they are clear out. Okay, they are clear out. Okay, and do, they do not connect. They are discrete. The data become discrete. And it is not in the bell shape. They are clear out to each other. So this is the characters of the discontinuous variation. Okay. And this is the examples of the discontinuous variation that controlled by the but type. The but type can represent three alleles. Three alleles. The first one is IA alleles and IB alleles and I small i alleles. Okay. This one will be the examples of uh, different allele form. Different forms of alleles. We will talk about the, the, the allele later when you calculate the calculation. Okay, uh, but allele here provide you to get four different type of but type. That is a a but type, b but type, and a b but type, and o but type. But this concept here we will talk about talk to you later. Okay. You, I, I will teach you how to determine this, okay? But one thing you su you supposed to know about the 
the uh, this continuous variation it is said discrete and this one is quite clear out okay and the next one here the word that you may confuse about it it is a gene what is a chromosome the basic unit of the heredity is determine as a, to determine the trait any trait we call genes and the genes are well located in the chromosomes okay the gene gene basically gene it is a code for the uh, heredity but the chromosome is an object that you can touch it okay it's about it is object it is a substance okay so you can extract it okay and if they are uh, for the different type of the different organisms they have different numbers of gene and different numbers of chromosome and they are related together okay gene The number of the chromosome become related together. Okay, how? I will show you here. Okay, the the first one here. I will talk to, talk talk to you about the chromosome. The chromosome here is organized structures. You you arrange them. They become they are arranged. Okay. And they can contain some genetic material. Later, this one we can call DNA or the oxyribonucleic acid. Okay, and the use for controlling and carrying the heredity information. The word hered heredity information means gene. Okay, and the transfer, this gene, it get transferred from generation to generation. It means from mother and father. To you like this and how we can organize the first step here we have the dna okay this is the levels of dna and the dna here contains some sorry some segment this is a segment of the dna contain the code and this code we call gene and now that this gene here get transferred into the next step we call rna Okay, and now they here will transfer the, this information into the protein. And this protein here can be transferred into the enzyme, the hormones, and the body structures. Okay, you must so like this. And all these three things here provide the body characters. Okay, for example, your hair like this, your hair contains keratin. Okay, the keratin protein here comes from the keratin gene. And keratin gene express as a keratin RNA. And keratin RNA transfer into the keratin protein. And the keratin protein can make your hair here become curly or even straight hair. That is, that, that is a word or meanings of the word genes. Okay, and now for that here, this gene here can get wrapping around here. This, this area here. This DNA, the DNA here wrapping to each other by one protein. Wrapping like this. Okay. This is the structures of DNA and we have the protein here. The protein, the protein, the protein, the protein, the protein, the protein, and the protein, and the protein, and the protein, and the protein. And this protein here so called histone protein. Okay. And the histone protein has been wrapped up by the DNA, okay, and become smaller structures. We call this one here, they are wrapping, and this structure become more thicker, thicker, and they are wrapping together. Wrapping, 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 like this. Into a thicker structure, this one we call the next level. From here to here, we call chromatin. And this chromatin has generated the structures of the word, the last word chromosome. So if you want to rearrange from the word here, from the smallest it is gene to the levels of DNA and go to the levels of chromatin. And next level it is chromosome. 
Okay, this is how we arrange from the smallest to largest. For the eukaryotic chromosome, the word eukaryotic chromosomes means this the organism that have that has the cells with nucleus. What does it mean? This one here may refer to the plant, the animals, fungi, protozoa, and they are act except the bacteria and the cyanobacteria. Bacteria see here again the moon. Okay, the characters of the eukaryotic chromosome here they have a long and thin and loose thread. That the time mean maybe thread light structures, and we call this one as a chromosome. So this one as a definition. Okay, the definition. And the chromosome here later they are condensed, condensed and wrap up with and packed together into the tube structure. So we can call the chromosome. So this definition of chromosome, tube like one. And now for that, the chromosome here basically they will have two. They have two forms basically. The first form here we call chromosome with two chro sorry here this one. Chromatids. This one is first chromatid. And this one we call second chromatid. Chromatid. But sometimes the cells can have the chromosome with one chromatid. Like this. Okay. But we will talk about this later how we change from chromosome with one chromatid into the chromosome with two chromatid and how we turn chromosome with two chromatid into chromosome with one chromatid. Okay, and they're pinched together at the center. The center here we name it as a centromere. Centromere. The word centromere comes from the centro means center. And the word mere means body. The chromosome itself, the chromosome means colors. When we study the chromosome, we need to stain, to stain the cells. When we stain the cells, you will see the body with the stain. We call chromosome because that gets stained. So the word chrome means colors. So in body. The body with colors. Okay. The relationship between the numbers of chromosomes in a different species here represent here. You may see that uh the numbers of the chromosome here is quite specific. For the chimpanzee and potatoes here represent uh 48 like this, they're the same. Okay. The human here, 46, and 7 more than a human, 78. And the frog less than a human, 20, uh, 26, and the pea, 14. Okay, so the number of chromosome is a not, they are not related to evolution of organisms. Okay, but the one that lead to the to the evolution is the numbers of genes. Yeah, this one here relates to evolution of the organism. If you have more genes, it's higher evolution, evolutionary level. Okay, like this. But one thing you can mention from the numbers of the chromosome it is if the animal they are in the same group in this group it is a it is an animal with hoof or gib tau. This is they are in the same group because they have the hoof. Okay. So the numbers of the chromosome here ranging about 60 to 64 
okay so animal the same group represent the similar number of chromosome Okay. In human, okay, they have 46 chromosomes. And each the chromosome here, they are not uh we have they have their own hairs. They look the same like this. Okay. And so we can from uh, 46 they, they are in a pairs, pair form like this. This is first two pair maybe. Okay. So we can count the number as a uh 23 pairs of the chromosome and we name these two chromosomes as homologous chromosomes okay and the first pair so the the first 22 pairs of chromosome we represent this one as autosome the roles of the autosome the is autosome that control the body characters Okay, and the last pair will be called sex chromosome. This one here control the first they control the body characters. And they also determine the sex of the organisms, especially for the group of human. Okay. For the the last pair, they represent two pair two uh two chromosome right. So we can have the same type, and the different type. Okay, for the one that have the same type, the size here will be homologous. But if the the one that have, uh, different, we will call the other form like this. Uh, the first one here, they, they, they show the same size and the second case here, they show the different size. If they have the same size of the last pair here, we call this one as the XX chromosomes. And if they are different here, we call X and Y. Okay, if the male, the male form here represent both X and Y. So we can call 22 from the autosome. 22 pairs and XY represent male form. And for the female form here, they have only a pair of X, I mean they have XX. So we can define as a 22 plus XX as a female. Okay. Okay, and we can study the numbers of the and the number and characters of chromosome by karyotyping this one he used for studying the characters of the the chromosomes in the cells by taking the photograph they like a, they they extract the cells and after they use the uh, the process to adhere the cells into the slide and after they use microscope to take a look into the cells and after they take the photos and cut the photo and rearrange them. For all homologous chromosomes, you will see the staining here will be the same, the same band. We call same band. Okay, same band and the same size. And they show the same position of centromere. Centromere like this. So if you have three this criteria, same band, same size, same position of the centromere, we can call this one as homologous chromosomes. Like this. Okay. That's all today. Thank you.